thanks for joining us today for Cooking with Granny Sue. Today I'm going to cook this big pound cake. It's a real crusty, delicious lemon pound cake. And I got this recipe from my mother. She cut it off of a Domino sugar bag in 1951. That's how old this recipe is. And Mama made it forever and my daddy loved it. That if he was working around home, that was his snack when he would come home and have a glass of tea or a cup of coffee. He would have a big hunk of pound cake with it because he liked it so much. Because he liked all things lemon. Anyway, you've got to mix your butter here good. And it's got to be a chunky kind of consistency when you get it done. Because it has to just mix up real well with your sugar. It all needs to be combined well. I can remember Mama taking so long because she did this with a hand mixer. She did not have an electric mixer for years. And she would beat and beat and beat with that old hand mixer making this cake. And she always, it took her forever to mix the butter in. We're so fortunate now we have so many electrical appliances. I was almost grown when my mother had got her first electric mixer. Anyway, you put a whole pound of butter in it. And you do it one half a pound at a time. And you mix it all real good. It's just you got to keep mixing it until it's all kind of chunky and delicious looking. And then you start adding eggs. And it takes 12 eggs for this pound cake. And that's another thing. After each egg, you have to mix it up. Mix after each egg and mix it well. Because... That's most of your sugar and your eggs is your moisture for this cake. And then you add the flour like in three different bunches. I do try to do a third. I get a little more sometimes. But I, you put four cups of flour in it. And it takes a lot to mix it because it gets really, it gets to be a thick, heavy batter. But this is a big crusty cake. It it is so delicious. I have never had anybody that ate this cake that didn't like it. It is just a wonderful cake. And I use it to make strawberry shortcake because I don't like angel food cake all that much. But this is a wonderful cake for that. As you'll see at the end. But it takes a lot of hard work to get this all mixed up right. Because all the flour has to be mixed in before you add anything else. And patience is really good for this particular recipe. And it seems to take longer to make it than any cake recipe I've got. But then it's so delicious nobody ever minds having spent the time to make it. And you can see yourself how yellow it is. That's just from the eggs. We haven't added the lemon yet. Now we're going to add an ounce of lemon juice. And, or an eighth of a cup. That is an ounce. Anyway, we add that and mix it. And then, like I say, you, you've got to do some mixing to get it all over the cake. Because that's a... You can look at it and tell this is a big cake. It just takes time because it's so, it's a dense cake. But it's so delicious. Everybody enjoys this cake. And now we put lemon zest in it also. And I do almost all the zest off of one whole big lemon and that doesn't make it too lemony but I like it to taste lemony and that's how my mom did it she used a lot of zest because like I said my daddy loved everything lemon if it said lemon it was daddy's favorite and that's just kind of how that went down 
and you gotta mix it good again like I say patience is the big virtue here because mixing it up good is the big deal because you gotta if you don't get the lemon all over it you're gonna have spots that don't taste like lemon at all just mix and mix and mix and mix until you know you've got it all mixed up good And then, we, it's hard because when you pull your beaters out, you're not going to get all your dough off of them like you do on most cakes. You just do the best you can and the rest of it goes in the sink to be washed down the drain. But like I said, this is a big cake. You're not going to miss what you don't get off those beaters. And I already have greased and floured my angel food cake pan. And I have a big deep one because you... You have to have a big cake pan for this cake or it will run over and be a big mess because it rises a lot and I never will forget the first time I made this cake my mother had already passed away and I didn't get the recipe like my sister did she got the original recipe that mama cut off the sugar bag so she knew exactly what had to be done when I got to putting it all together, I had to stop and call her and say, Wait a minute, there's no baking powders or no soda. And she said, Nope, because it don't get that stuff. It rises on its own. You put eggs, and the eggs and the stuff that's in it combined makes it rise, and you'll see it rises well without any of those ingredients. And I love it to make this cake, and a lot of times I make it for gifts, even for my kids or people in the neighborhood or something. Or at Christmas time for a gift. And if it's just like I know two people that live alone, I'll cut that cake in half because that's a big piece of cake, half of it is. And when I get to mixing it and getting it in the pan, you're seeing now I'm bumping it down so it don't have air pockets in it. And you have to do that several times. And then in the oven for an hour and a half. Now, mine doesn't get done in an hour and a half in my oven. It takes about an hour and 40 minutes. It's probably the altitude since I live in Wyoming. So it's in the south or other places where it's not so high, it probably gets done in an hour and a half easily. But I have my mother's old ice pick, so that's what I test it with. But a skewer of any kind you can stick straight down in it is good also. And as you can see, I'm doing strawberry shortcake with it because I love strawberry shortcake and I love this cake. And I what I did with the strawberries, I just bought fresh strawberries and I bought some of that strawberry glaze. And I just mixed what I thought I needed, the, the strawberries. And then I just got ready whip. I could have done whipped cream with it, but most people do ready whip for this that I've had saw that use this. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining us. And from my kitchen to yours, thank you very much. If you like the video, share and subscribe. And hit the little bell so you'll be noticed when I'm doing another video.